understand it. Anyway, now let us look at the control of this system. The pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is located at a very important location in the scheme of overall metabolism and uh, thus is actively is uh, tightly regulated to direct the flow of two carbon acetyl units from the glycolysis into the citric acid cycle. Regulation at the gateway of the citric acid cycle is essential because the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA catalyzed by the PDC is highly favored thymodyna thermodynamically. This reaction is an irreversible committed metabolic step. Okay, so you can see here glycolysis through pyruvate, then production of uh, this, then conversion of pyruvate to acetyl CoA is a thermodynamically favored, and this is a committed step. This is irreversible step. So once you produce acetyl CoA, you must go through the citric acid cycle. There is no going back because acetyl CoA cannot be converted into like glucose through the gluconeogenesis because there is no enzyme of converting acetyl CoA into pyruvate because this step is very very energy consuming and it's very very complex one so there is no energy complex present there okay now in the regulation of PDC we can have the positive modulators and negative modulators both positive modulators are AMP NAD plus and coenzyme A now if there is a presence of high concentration of coenzyme A or NAD plus or adenosine monophosphate then we are having uh, the reaction favored at the production of acetyl CoA from the pyruvate but if we are having higher concentration of ATP or NADH or acetyl CoA in those cases we do not need to produce acetyl CoA because acetyl CoA is al uh, already there so we do not need to produce that so the reaction is halted in those situations okay so control of the PDC occurs in two mechanisms. One is the production of inhibition, uh, the product inhibition by the NADH and acetyl CoA. So if the high concentration of acetyl CoA and NADH present, it, these are the products. So it will inhibit all the steps. And second one is the covalent modification by the phosphorylation of E1 subunit. Okay, this can all only be done in case of eukaryotic cells because in case of prokaryotic cells, the phosphorylation and blocking of enzyme E1 cannot uh, be accessible okay so you can see in this case so uh, ATP AMP NAD and coenzyme A is giving it positive modulation and on the other cases like ATP NAD is giving it a negative modulation so high energy state if you look at the high energy state we are having the high amount of NADH high amount of ATP so it will shut down the process of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and if you look at the low energy step so we are not having NADH we are not having a ATP so it will uh, force the cell to generate acetyl CoA for uh, for carrying out the citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphorylation to generate energy for that purpose it will be activated all the time okay so this is uh, the interactive process uh, of how it is controlled and how it's not controlled so let's move on and go to the summary now we have discussed about the very complicated step right we, we should understand the uh, a cellular metabolic location if the pyruvate 